get to where I need to be. Show. <laughs> okay. So today we'll be talking about how to get your man to marry you. Okay. How to, I can see just myself. I can't see you, AJ. Hello. Yeah, Sunday, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you're back now. Okay, so before I get into the points of the exact, you know, steps to take in order to get the man in your life today to marry you. So this video is going to be very helpful for anyone who is looking into getting married soon. Or well, even if you're not ready to get married soon, these are things you should look out for when you are actually planning on getting married to whoever it is that you are dating, okay? I'm sorry if I'm not looking into the screen, it's because my camera is somewhere else and my screen is somewhere else, so bear with me. And then I've got the points written down here that I'll be looking onto and then speaking to you guys um, about it. So once we're done talking about the points, AJ, you can allow them to ask whatever questions they have. As yeah. much as we can, we will answer. But if we don't finish, we carry on in the comment sections. Okay. 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 So to start off with, before you be, before you even think about getting married as a woman, you need to first of all work on yourself. You need to first of all be sure of who you are as a person even before thinking about joining your life with someone else yeah so the first thing that you need to know is that marriage doesn't you know add any marriage is not what defines you or marriage is not what's going to make you feel like you're worthy as a person before yes. you get married you still are a person and you should value yourself as such Marriage is great, marriage is good, but marriage is not what defines you as a woman. You need to put that in your head. Because if you, if, if you don't get that mindset right, you might end up, you know, looking down on yourself and then allowing men to take advantage of you or take on due advantage of you when, they, when it shouldn't be the case, okay? Um, second of all, you need to, um, before you even think about get married to someone ask yourself do you like what you see does this man look good to you and do you believe that he's going to look good to you for the rest of your life it is very 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 important that you ask yourself this question if you don't like the way he looks looks is not everything but it is important in this case because this is the face you'll be looking at for the rest of your life so if you don't like what you see, my sister, you're probably looking at the wrong person because <laughs> that attraction needs to be there. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that attraction needs to be there. Another thing you need to ask yourself, does he listen to you? Does he respect you? Does he respect the things you say? Does he respect his family? Does he respect his parents? All these are questions you need to ask yourself. If this is a man who doesn't listen to you, he doesn't listen to his family, he doesn't listen to anyone, that is a big red flag. And you need to sort that out even before thinking about getting married to him. Okay? So these okay. points I'm talking about are things you need to get out of the way before you even think about marriage. marriage. Yeah? Yeah. Please yes. invite your friends. Please invite your friends. Copy the link, invite your friends so we can have more people joining. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you need to get in place is while you're waiting to be married as, as a single lady, just get on with your life. The fact that you're getting ready to get married doesn't mean you should sit down, cross your legs and wait. No. Get on with life. If you want to go to school, go to school. If you want to start a business, start a business. If you want to find a job and start a career, go on with it. Just carry on. Because as you go on in life, as you go on in the journey of life, that is when you get to meet whoever it is that you want to settle with. But you can't just sit down, cross your leg at home and say, I'm waiting for Mr. Right. No. Just get on with life. Put some value on yourself and make sure that you know, you've developed yourself to the extent that you feel 
very ready to be married, okay? Yeah. And then the next point is, yeah, use your waiting time to improve yourself. I've said that already. Another thing, I know we've got other people from other countries that would watch the stream, but from our, from our culture in Ghana, as a woman, you have to know how to cook. You have to know how to clean. Perfectly. You, know, you know you have to know how to cook, to clean, and to organize a home. Mm -hmm. So we don't expect you to know it all at once. You know, we've all got our bad habits before we got married. <laughs> Sometimes you don't wake up early, you know, you don't shower on time, stuff Same. like that. Make wow. sure you sort out all those things. If you don't know how to cook, go on YouTube and learn all the delicacies. Make sure that you know how to cook. I'm not saying you should cook for a boyfriend, no. I'm coming to that point. But you're learning this as a form of self-development. You are not doing it because of whoever it is you are with. You are doing it because you are preparing yourself as a person for marriage. Okay? So these um, six points that I've mentioned, once they are out of the way, then you can start thinking. Okay? So all these things that I've said has been sorted. And I think Kojo, I think Kofi, I think Kweku, I think Kwame, I think Yao is the right man for me to get married to. Now we get into the nitty gritty of, you know, what you actually have to do to get a man to start thinking about getting married to you ASAP. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Sandy, before you get into the main points, I want to put this across. So... Mm -hmm. We would be, we'll, Sandy would take 30 minutes to talk. So after her delivery, please, you can send in your questions as well. So after 30 minutes, we'll hop into onto the questions, then we answer. So you're using just one hour for today's show. So please, start preparing your questions. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to stay here all day. You know, yeah, because some people will watch the video after, and if it's too long, you know how it goes, right? Yes. Okay, so those of you who joined in the discussion we had the last time, there was this main point that I kept hammering on, hammering on, hammering on. And that main point is what's going to save you a whole lot of time wasting, a whole lot of heartbreak. It's going to save you a whole lot. And that is get straight to the point and ask him from the beginning. I'm not saying, you know, don't just surprise him, boom, with a question, no. But try and introduce the question of marriage in your discussion. And then know his thoughts. Get to find out if he has plans of getting married. Yes. Also, when he wants to get married and see if it aligns with you. So maybe at this point you are a student, you're not working at the moment, you're just looking at dating, and maybe you, your plan is to get married in about three years' time. When you have a conversation with him about the timing and he says, oh, well, I'm also a student now and I plan on getting married in five years and you are planning three years. Okay, that doesn't match. You guys can have a conversation, see if you can meet each other halfway. If at the end of that conversation you're not, in agreement, then you need to. I don't. Yes, do, do not waste your time. And then find a way out. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, there are some men who have decided in their life never to get married. Believe it or not, there are men like that. So once you have the conversation with him and he tells you, "I'm sorry, I don't want to have, I don't want to get married. I just want to, you know, live with my partner and then carry on with life." That's fine. <laughs> you know, then you decide, do you also want to be in that kind of relationship for the rest of your life? If the answer is no, I'm sorry, sis. You just have to let him go. <laughs> Letting go is one of the most difficult things, but trust me, you will thank your future self for just letting that man go. Because <laughs> you will force yourself, stay with him, you guys will just cohabit for as long as only God knows, and he will not even end up marrying you. So what's the point? You see? So that question number one, very, very important. You don't have to ask him on your first date. If all I've said in the beginning is out of the way, it means that you guys are together and 
you know what you are, you know, you know what you are about, you're dating. So you need to introduce that question in your conversations, not in a very, you know, pressing way like, hey, will you marry me? No. You need to just ask him, what are your plans? Do you want to get married? When? Everything. And then get to know. So whatever he tells you is what you're going to use to decide that, yes, I like him. He wants to get married. Let's do this. Okay. So that's point number one. Okay. So whatever he tells you, that's what you are going to use to take back out. So don't forget to like the stream. And also share with your friends so that we can get more people to come on board. So, but don't forget to also subscribe to Sandy Sandy's channel. So, yeah, you can go on, Sandy. Okay. So, point number two is that you need to be yourself. Be yourself, my ladies. Be yourself. There is no need to pretend. Yes, even if you pretend, how long are you going to pretend for? What is the longest you're going to pretend for? Be yourself. If he doesn't love you for being yourself, it means that he's not meant for you to begin with. First of all, um, being yourself doesn't mean don't do away with negative behavior. No. You know, sometimes <laughs> in being yourself, there are saying things that you do that are not okay, that are not, you know, they are just not okay. That is not what I mean. But being yourself, as in being natural, don't pretend. Just, you know, ask all the questions, be approachable, be nice, be open. Perfect. Be yes. open, you know, don't, don't hold things back. Just be yourself. So when you are yourself, whatever reaction he gives you will actually make you know what you look, what, what you, you to actually expect or what to actually look forward to when you guys get married. But if you're fake, you get a fake reaction. If you're yourself, you get a real reaction from him. So there's no need to fake. Be yourself. And if you're yourself and he still loves you for being yourself, then you know you're on the right track. If he absolutely loves you for being yourself, you know you are on the right track. track. Yes. Okay. So point number three. Do not perform wifely duties for boyfriends. <laughs> this is a very, difficult very point, my sisters. <laughs> but trust me, you will thank me later. Yes. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't, don't pack your bags and go and live in his house. Don't do it. Don't. Don't be cooking for him like a chef. If he wants a cook, he should go and get one. It's not about being rude or it's not about being pompous. It's about knowing your value as a woman and knowing your standards. If you're giving him wifely duties, do you think he will marry you? No, he <laughs> won't. Why, why bother paying for the car when you can get the milk for free? He won't pay because he, everything that he's paying for, he's getting it. So why should he pay? One cabbage here. You know, it's just natural. Yes. AJ, it's just natural. He won't bother paying for it. He won't bother paying your buy price because whether he pays or not, he's still getting it. So what's the point? Yes. You know, stop cooking. Don't turn yourself into a house girl just because you want to be married. Stop turning yourself into a maid in a man's house. Stop cooking, stop cleaning, stop doing all those stuff. No, he is just going to, he's just going to look down on you and like, what's wrong with this girl? He will say to you, but these are the things that they think to themselves. I'm saying all this out of experience. And these are things that my husband said to me, you know, after we got married and then we've had discussions and he told me that these are the things that he looked out for. Me, I won't cook for you. <laughs> That also doesn't mean you shouldn't learn how to cook, you know. That was why I removed, I cleared that point from the beginning. Learn how to cook and know within yourself that you can cook. So there's a big difference between not knowing how to cook and not cooking for a boyfriend. You can, you can surprise him sometimes with a cooked meal 
sometimes just to add some spice to the relationship, but don't make it a habit to be cooking for him every day. You're not his house help. Don't do it. Because that is only going to make him more and more reluctant to marry you because he already he's already getting everything that a wife should be doing from you. Okay? Mm. My ladies, please, very, very important. Okay. Okay, Sandy, I want to ask you a question. You know, sometimes some men want to see those things that would also like push them to get married to you. That's when why I said you can do it from time to time. Okay. But don't okay. turn yourself into <laughs> A full time house girl, no. Okay. Obviously, okay. when you go and visit your boyfriend, you 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 lie on the bed and the bed is crumbled up. Of course, you need to lay it. Like, yeah, yeah. Do do what you're supposed to do. You don't leave the bed messed up and then expect him to be okay. No, treat treat him the same way you would love to be treated. Of course, when you go and spend the night and it's morning, just frying egg for you guys to have breakfast. There is nothing wrong with it. But there are some girls who actually turn themselves into wives when they are no wives yet. That is what I'm talking about. That okay. one is a no-no. Don't do it. I know it's very difficult. A lot of girls are doing it. You tell them, they'll be like, oh, what are you saying? But trust me, it doesn't work. Me, I will cook for you. That doesn't mean I don't know how to cook. Marry me and see whether I can cook or not. <laughs> you would believe me. You know, when I was single, you should see my nails. Me, I don't cook all. No, 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 no. I won't do it. I won't do it, you know. Because if I give it all now, why marry me then? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Um, so, so, ladies, don't don't go there and go and leave one of your earrings there, one of your... <laughs> then after that, eventually you pack all your things there. Don't go and... Don't go. do it. <laughs> don't do it. You are no, not smart. is different. You know, yeah. every relationship is different. And it all depends on what point of the relationship you are in. Okay. I, for instance, I was living here in the UK. Um, he, We used to spend most of our week together. And then he goes to his family on weekends and stuff like that. But this was after we had done, our, you know, our church um, counseling and all that. We knew that we even knew our wedding dates. <laughs> that is different. So that okay. is the man who has given you an engagement ring. You guys know your wedding date. You know when you're actually going to the altar. Like, it's a done deal. Like, maybe he's even done the knocking. That's fine. But not when this man hasn't even told you, will you marry me? Then you just go and turn yourself into a house girl. Don't do it, my sister. You will thank me. You. Hmm. We've done <laughs> it. We've been there. We've done that. Uncle Siaka. Forget about all those things. If he loves you, it's not even about that. And like I said, it doesn't mean you shouldn't know how to cook. And it, dear, please don't say Sandy Sandy said don't cook. So <laughs> you too. <laughs> you won't learn how to cook. And then after you're married, you okay, Sandy, this, this is just a quick one. Um, a question that yeah. is from Elinam. She says that what if he sponsors your education, pays your rent, and stuff? Still doesn't mean you should send it to his house girl. It's even good you said he's sponsoring you. It means he has money. If he needs somebody to do his laundry, he should get somebody. There are so many people offering those services in Ghana. If he's so desperate to have you full to himself, he should marry you. It's simple. Elinam, if he has money to sponsor your education, he has money to pay your rent, he has money to do all that, what's stopping him from marrying you? You get my point, AJ. So this yes. is a man who is financially stable. Stable. He can do all this for you. So, sorry. Why is he not married to you then? <laughs> so just withhold it. Don't worry. I have more points coming and then you understand me better. But this, yes. yes. A man who hasn't shown any interest to marry you, don't do it. You can do it from time to time, but don't turn it into a habit. You just end up being disrespected by men. Trust me. Okay. The next point is, you as a woman expecting someone to marry you, are you a version of who you want to be married to? <laughs> be what you expect from your partner. Okay. 
I've got two points showing different. Okay, I'll use that. Okay. Okay, so as a woman, you should have your standards. Thanks for putting that on the screen. As a woman, you should have your standards. You should have other things that occupy and make you happy besides your boyfriend. Don't be caught up with this boyfriend. The moment he doesn't call you, you are so restless, you are so unhappy. Love is a great thing, but don't center your whole life around that person because it's sometimes suffocating and it can get annoying. If you're someone who hasn't got your own, you've not got your own hobbies, you've not got anything you do for fun, the only thing you do for fun is being with your boyfriend. Hey, madam, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Get a hobby. Even if your hobby is whatever it is, cooking, swimming, hanging out with your friends, anything, any sport, just anything. Have something you do for fun. Me, my hobby is um, browsing on my phone. If you leave me with my phone 24 hours, I'm more than happy. I don't even need to talk to anybody. I'm okay. So that's me. Everybody has got their own. So you should have that one thing that you can do, even when your boyfriend is not around, that still makes you happy. Have your standards, have your likes and dislikes, and let him know that these are my standards and I'm not going to bend my standards just because I want to be married. No. Not saying you should be arrogant or rude, but just know your standards as a woman. Have your value. Know the things you will never do and the things that you can do. And let him know to see if you are a right match for him. <laughs> hey, did you want to ask something? <laughs> I wanted to ask you, sometimes do we need to compromise? Yes, you have to. Don't be selfish. So I'm coming to that point too. Okay. You have your standards as a person. The whole point I'm trying to make is value yourself. Value yourself first and then someone else will value you. Maybe that makes it easier. Yeah. Value yourself first. Have a hobby that you can, you know, that you, you do besides being with your boyfriend. And then, you know, once you value yourself, anybody, even besides your boyfriend, anybody in this world will value you. If you don't value yourself, no one else is going to value you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So as she said, you need to value yourself before you expect someone to value you. So as she's moving to the next point, don't forget to like and share this um, live. And also prepare your question. Make <laughs> prepare your question. So oh. <laughs> get your <laughs> questions. I love Ellie Kim's questions. Mm -hmm. AJ, can you put the next point? I think the points you, you have are a little bit different from what I've written here. So if you can just pop oh, it okay. for me. So the next one. So that's the okay. next one. Be the partner you Be expect. Be the partner you expect. I think I've just spoke, spoken about it. Are you the partner you expect from whoever it is that you're seeing? Put some value to yourself. We have some ladies, and I want a tall man. I want a slim man. I want a man who is broad-chested. I want a man who is Jimmy. Madam, all these things you are asking for from a man, are you all these things? You want an athletic man. Are you athletic yourself? You want If you're, if you're a couch potato like me who doesn't do sports, you are not fit like AJ, but you're looking for a man who is fit. Like, who does that? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, you know. Okay, so Elikem is asking, what if your boyfriend is rather the one engaging you every second? So Elikem, that brings the point where sometimes make yourself scarce, okay? He will not engage you every second if he knows that you have something going. So if you tell him, oh, I'm going to maybe play volleyball or I'm going to swim, will he call you when you're in the swimming pool? No. Because he knows you're swimming and he knows that, okay, on maybe Saturday, every other Saturday, my girlfriend goes swimming. He will give you that space and it will make him miss you more. And the more he misses you, the more he would want to make you his wife. 
you get the drift. All these things we are doing are tactics and, you know, tips on how to make him want to marry you. So if he wants you every second and he calls you every second and you're in his house every second, why will he marry you? Tell him. Spend time with him, but sometimes make yourself scarce a little bit. Do it intentionally. Like Shedda. Or Fred, why you busy? Why you busy? Why you busy? You're going back. Just so you make it feel better. Yeah. Why if at that moment that you are, you are trying to say you are busy and he needs you urgently at that moment? Yes, that is urgently. There's a difference between urgently and a difference between a man who is just clingy every second he wants to be with you. And you to make yourself available. <laughs> some second. ladies will also some ladies too will also say that okay, my man always loves to be with me and I love it. Some will also okay. say that. Okay, so that is a man who you know that you're already on your way to the aisle. Remember, I mentioned that. Like you guys know that maybe you are getting married in the next three months. You are doing your you are doing your wedding preparations. Like everything is already underway. You can even decide to go and stay with him. People do that. Okay. <laughs> but this is someone who hasn't proposed. You don't know the future yet. You don't know. Okay. Or maybe you guys have spoken about marriage, but you are not even quite sure. And he's been a little bit reluctant. Don't be too available. No when it's urgent, AJ. No when it's okay. urgent. But you know there are some men they just offer a while now so the miracle every minute, every minute. He would be being a way to to marry you. Nothing will push him. Because you are always available. You are giving it to him. Left, right, front, center. All the styles you have to keep for your husband, you've given all to him. My sister, why would he pay? Tell me. Ellie can tell me if you've given him all the stars <laughs> in the book. What will he pay? He won't. <laughs> you see, some of these points are a little bit difficult, but as a woman, you need to have a strong will okay. and try <laughs> to get what you want. You know, AJ, I'm sure at a point you knew that Nate is going to be your husband. You guys had plans. Even if it's one year ahead, you both have agreed that you are getting married in one year your family knows each other. Everything is on the way. That's different. And it's a different case when the man hasn't proposed yet and you're trying to get him to do the proposal and start off that process. You understand? Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. So, so, so if I'm getting you right, you said, mm -hmm. okay, if the man has proposed to you, the one you can give in or you're all in all. But you if can. the man has proposed to you, that's when you would bring out these points. Yes. Yeah, you know. Yes. No, not oh. all. Some. Some. Okay. Some. Because when I'm bringing out the points, I say at what point this is okay and when it's not okay. You see. Not giving your all in all is for a man who hasn't married you, who hasn't made any plans of marrying you. He hasn't come to see your parents. You don't know his house. You know, you, you don't know his family you guys haven't don't have any marriage plans that's different yeah elikem says i think okay so i've seen your questions coming through so guys i'll start tackling your questions I'm, uh, we, we have only um five minutes for sunday to deliver them we'll come on to your questions and as a woman always try to appreciate your man we've got good men out there okay as much as we've got really, really bad men out there who deceive women, we've got good men out there who go all out. They go all out of their way to make you happy. When they do, try and appreciate them. Try and be very appreciative of your man. Appreciate him. And what do I mean by appreciation? Not just by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. No. When he gives to you, also give back. Right. Don't be stingy. Stop giving your boyfriend handkerchiefs and singlets. They are not bobo -bo dancers. <laughs> Women, sometimes we are too stingy. I'm not saying give all your money to your man, but if he's kind enough to buy you a beautiful hamper on Vows Day, what stops you from buying him a hamper too? Yeah. What stops you from also wholeheartedly doing things to make him happy? What stops you from, you know, or doing something nice to be delivered to him in the office, just make him happy and feel appreciated. 
giving is very important. Women, we're always saying that we want a man who gives. Are you a giver? <laughs> you that you want a man who gives, you, do you give? It's a very, very serious thing. Great question over there. Yes. It, 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 it has become like women, are, we are becoming too selfish lately. Mm -hmm. and can he yes. send me Momo? He should buy me this, he should buy me that. You, what are you buying for him? It's hand go, hand come. In marriage, it's not from one side. It's hand go, hand come. So please be a giver, be kind. That doesn't mean you should will your life away to your boyfriend. No. But be kind. If he is showing you love and affection, you show him back, then he'll know that, oh, this woman is very, very kind. This <laughs> woman is affectionate. This woman will really be a good mother to my children. It would draw his mind to marry you. But if you are a very, very wicked girlfriend, <laughs> you don't do anything for him, you have the money, you don't want to spend, no. That's not good, okay? Or don't call your door. To, to whom much is given. Yeah. So he said, once they're blooming, we should show love to them. Show like, love, appreciate them. them. Let them know that you appreciate all the good things that they do for you. Not just mm -hmm. by saying thank you, but also giving back. Trust me, yeah. men look at this. <laughs> they Ladies, go. are you hearing? <laughs> are you hearing that? Yeah. <laughs> just that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just the just next that. point, please. So the next point, make sure you are independent and add value to the relationship. Yes. So as a woman who is get, getting ready to be married, question number one, are you working? Are you doing something with your life? What value are you bringing into this man's life? What value, what are you bringing to the table? Because if you are just a woman and the only thing you can bring to the table is sebul, sex, then that one can be paid for. You all know you can pay for that, right? You know, the man has to feel like, hey, if I don't marry this girl, I'm going to lose that big time. And how do you do to make him feel that way? It's by developing yourself and adding value. You should find work doing. Don't be jobless. Find a job. Don't also wait for government to find a job for you if you haven't found anything to do out there. You can start a business. Just get something doing. It's either you, you know, even if you're a student, get something doing because as a woman, you need to get ready. The man needs to fill a void by thinking. He shouldn't even have a thought of you not being part of his life. The thought of you not being in his life should scare him, okay? So please, Spend time and develop yourself. Love yourself and put value. Make sure that your existence brings value into a man's life. That will make him want to marry you. Yes, so make sure your existence brings a value into a man's life. So the next question, the next point, sorry. Be approachable and open-minded and selfless, yes. So this is where the selflessness comes in. Don't be a selfish woman. I want this, I want that, I want that. Are you also, are you also, you know, what he wants? You know, don't be selfish. Whatever yes. a man will do to you that will not make you happy, don't do it to him. Perfect. Yes, Both you are it. the princess, feel important, feel everything, but you, you need to be very, 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 you know, selfless and you need to be kind. The men look at this a lot. We don't know, but they do. You need to be approachable. Don't make yes. yourself too can change. I feel the person can be big crying or slow so no because I like. I don't know. Be approachable. Be open minded because this is two people from two different families coming together as one. So if you are not open minded, that will be very difficult. AJ, I I your marriage funny. is an example. Yes. AJ is Ashanti <laughs> and her husband is gone. So imagine if AJ would have been able to, um, you know, do well with me if she wasn't open-minded. Then, you know, comparing yourself, hey, Ashanti for the and yes, I went and cried for day. No, you need to be open-minded because these are two, you can imagine even if you met at the age of 25, this is 25 years of his life being trained 
in a different home, completely different from yours. So you need to be yes. open-minded, approachable, and selfless. Very, very, very important. Okay, agent. I <laughs> yeah. Next point, please. Okay, yeah. Don't be too available. I think I've met, I've talked about mm -hmm. these points because of the question that Ellie Kim asked. So don't be too available. Get busy. Spend time with him when you have to, but don't give him wifey time, okay? We've got wifey time and we've got girlfriend time. Don't give yourself up full time because this is how men are. They easily get reluctant. They do. They do. There's very few men who see you, they love you, they propose and pump, they marry you. Most of them feel that edge of reluctance. If you don't push them, if you don't make them miss you, man, they feel like they And you they be afraid when I Sometimes, you know, make him miss you and want more of you. Okay. AJ, next step. Yeah, I think I've spoken about always appreciating and giving back. Um, okay. So my last but not least point. As a woman, when it comes to marriage, you are in full control. Okay? Even if... Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry for the technical hitches over there. But did you hear everything I said, or I have to go over yes, it? Yes, I heard everything. <clears throat> so you said your last but one point. So you need to be very smart, okay? Okay. Even sometimes you have your wedding date, and these men will still be dragging their feet. Sometimes you'll be doing your, your counseling, and these men will still be dragging their feet. It's just natural. That's how they are, okay? So... It is up to you to be smart and try to drive things quicker. Okay. Yeah. Not because you are rushing into marriage or anything, but we are lose pay. Everyone same. All these points <laughs> I'm giving you, some other woman has all the points and she's using it. So if you make lose, no, you lose your man. So while you guys are planning everything, speak to him, keep him in the loop. Tell him, oh. I've spoken to my mom. My mom said, okay, next week, Thursday, uh, sorry, next weekend or next month, it's okay for you to come and come and see them. Then, you know, be giving them feedback. When he comes home to see you, tell him all the things that your mom has said. Don't say the negative ones. Never do that, okay? Make him feel very comfortable with your family. Tell him your parents' feedback and then tell him how soon they want to you know, him to come for the name and um, for the knocking and all that. You don't expect the man to set that date. It is you, the woman, who's going to, you know, drive the boat to set the date for your knocking. After the knocking, it is you who is going to drive the boat to set the date for your engagement and your wedding. So if you are not serious and you take things for granted, you get carried away by the where things are going, and then when he comes up with an excuse, you also say yo, and then you know the violent take it by force. Okay, we're getting married in 2020, like we are getting hitched. So don't lose guard, like always drive it, keep him in the loop, tell him what your family have said, and <laughs> get it on. Like, yes, so yeah. girls, do you hear don't lose guard? Don't lose guard <laughs> if you get okay, a good so we man, are make sure you get him hedged as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go to the questions now. So this one is from Elinor. I think Sandy has to do another live teaching us about the things to look out for into in a guy before falling into a relationship. Thank you. Okay. I she think my definitely last video was on that. <laughs> Wasn't it? The last live we did. Yeah, it was something yeah, associated with that. Yeah. yeah. So, Ellie, can please refer to the last video I did with AJ. I think I we spoke about a lot of things okay. to look out for, to know whether he's into you. I think we did 10 powerful points. 
that yes. you should really watch. I don't know if you watched it yet, but please refer to that video. Okay, so this one is the same as from early now. Yes, I get it, but there was this situation where a guy said even when he is going to the washroom, his girlfriend wants a video call and also a, an, an always video calling him. Like always the girlfriend wants a video call from the guy. <laughs> Has she got trust issues or something? Or is it a long distance relationship? If you guys are living in different countries, it's a, a different ball game. Most of the points I mentioned are when you guys are living in the same country. Maybe you are both living in the UK or you are both living in Ghana. But if you are in different countries, yes, you have to be doing the video calls. It's very important. You know, so it all depends on what situation you okay. find yourself in. Okay, so Elinam, you heard it. It all depends on the situation you find yourself in. So this one is from Elizabeth Ohenewa. What if your boyfriend gives you a promise ring, but it seems he... It seems like he is not making an, any effort to marry you. Can you break up with him and move on when it has been like three years? Yes, of course. What is promise ring? Promise <laughs> ring in there. He's just fucking you up. <laughs> yeah, promise ring is not engagement ring. Yes. No. It's different if he's done knocking. So that is where my sister Elizabeth, you need to do your charming skills. If all the skills I've said in this video didn't work, then that man is not ready to be settled down. The reason why he doesn't want to marry, is it because he doesn't have money? Is it because he's not working? Is it because he's not financially stable? If he is not, as a woman, what are you also doing to support him? Yeah. This is very, very important. Even the wedding, all the cause doesn't go on the man. You need to support in yeah. a way. Not with the list, please, my, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever give a man a penny when it comes to your traditional list. Don't do it. One day it will be an insult for you. Do not do it. But when it comes to the ceremony, maybe you can take the cost of decor or you can take the cost of catering. You can do something to help. Don't yeah. leave everything on the man. Every situation is different. You need to sacrifice. So that is what AJ was talking about, sacrifice. You need to sacrifice as a woman. Yes. Don't put so all the burden on him. <laughs> so don't put everything on yes. your mind. Don't so this it. one is from Tesla. What if you are the only one who surprises him? Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> so um, Priscilla, are you saying you are the only one who surprises him or you are the only one who gives? It's two things. You know, some people like surprises. Like in my case, my husband loves surprises so much. Me, I don't like surprises. Me, I'll just give it to you, you know. I'm local <laughs> like that. But my husband <laughs> likes surprises. So Your husband is romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loves to surprise me. I always get upset, but he keeps doing it. That's just who he is. So, but we both give, okay? Surprising is different from giving. So if you say you are the only one surprising, please come again, Priscilla. Is it that he's okay. changing and he doesn't give you? That's a red flag. Please watch my other video and you get all my points about men who are stingy. Yes. You don't want to be married <laughs> to a stingy man. So this one is from Rhoda Boatin. What if the girl gives more than her boyfriend? Okay, so he gives just that you give more. <laughs> That's fine. As long as he's not stingy, Rhoda. As long as he's not stingy. Open your eyes. You don't want to be married to a stingy man, my sister. You will regret it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be in the house and then ECG will take light fish and he will not even give you a penny to go and buy light. Like, is that what you want to really be married to? No. Okay. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to Sandy Sandy. Her link is in the description box. And also, don't forget to like and share this live stream. So the next question is from Teresa. What if you are, asking, you are talking with a guy who respects you, listens to you and everything, but you don't have any attraction for him, what will you do? Hmm. <laughs> he loves you, respects you and everything. So does it mean that this is someone you've just met? I would assume you will not, you will not date a man you don't like, right? I'm a woman and I've been through situations like that before. There are some situations you meet a guy, you're not really attracted in the beginning. But after he shows you love, AJ, I don't know if you've experienced it before. After yeah. he starts to show you love, he starts to show you affection, he starts to show you so many things. We are women. 
we've got that soft spot, you might end up falling in love with him. But if after all that, he's done everything under the sun, and so, Teresa, you are not attracted, please save somebody's son and leave him alone, okay? Yeah. Like, my Don't, relationship, like, yeah. the, first that. I met, the first I met me, I wasn't interested. But as time went on, and I developed love for him. You see? So that's a success story right there. So it means it's workable. It's just that there are some people, even if they cut their head and put on a plate for you, you will still not fall in love. In yes, no, no. a situation like that, yeah. <laughs> save him. Save him the headache. Save him the wahala yeah. and just let him be. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so the next question. This one is from Elena McGain. Who wants to this? lose that? Like, oh, okay, this is Yeah, so Elena, don't lose we that. We want to lose that. a serious man, you what? Don't joke. <laughs> because the difference between you and the one getting married is just something small that she's doing that you don't know. I'm no. telling you. <laughs> she's not worried. No. Eh? <laughs> Catch him and marry him. Like, don't so lose that. <laughs> This one is from EPPA Worldwide. My people, my people, Sandy, Sandy Bay. Okay, this is just a Thank compliment. Thank you, Mamle. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> okay, so another this one. Say, tell him, tell them, do not date a stingy man. You talk of marriage. You see, <laughs> Mamle. Thank you so much. Yeah, she said, don't date a stingy man, not stuck of marriage. <laughs> okay, so this one is from Sheila. Hello, thanks for the show. My man is fully ready for the wedding, but I would like to complete school phase. He has done the knocking and wish to do the wedding next year. Any advice? Okay, so you want to complete school first. The question is, are you finishing the school next year? Sheila, if your man is ready, I tell God, beg you, please Be allow him to marry you. <laughs> so Remember, I mentioned in my point, get on with your life. Get wedding is just one day, madam. Being married one day is not going to stop your school from you know, it's not going to stop you from finishing school. I was in uni with so many people. I had a friend, you know, uni is four years. Do you know by the time yes. we finished uni, she had two children? Yes. <laughs> I have a mate like that, Linda. She had two children in the space of four years that were in Lagos. So, okay, so please, that's, yes, that don't brings do us. It. Don't lose God. Yes, don't he wants to marry God. you. Please, right after the knocking, let him come and do the engagement fast, fast, fast. Don't even remember man from man from because the more mm -hmm. air you you are allowed to go in between the two of you, the more the devil will try to come in. Just let him marry you. If you love him, Sheila, you love him. This is the man of your dreams. He wants to marry you. Please don't be the hindrance to his plans. Just allow him to marry you, okay? And carry on and, with life. Yes. So, Sheila, if you love him, yes. please go on. Don't lose that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as you're a student, try to get something doing, be selling one or two things or be working on the side you know you can work part-time do something on the side don't just be a full-time student because that's going to be a burden on him try and find something doing sheila okay something that brings income and then allow him if he wants to marry you january please don't say me real school so being in school is no excuse okay so this one is from sugar plum what about men who claim to be in love with you when you have only been talking to them for a month what are their intentions it's possible <laughs> for a man to fall in love with you in a month okay i got my marriage proposal within a uh, in one okay one month or should i say we met in february and he proposed to me in march one month <laughs> yes oh, well, one month that is how fast it was if he sees you, that you know, you need to open your eyes. There are some men, they just say marriage just so that they can take advantage of you. You need to be smart. So up, if you haven't watched the other video, please, after this, refer and watch that one. That one is going to teach you how to open your eyes to know the fake men and the real men before you even cross over to even decide whether you want to marry them. So yes, so it's possible. <laughs> 
Yeah. So sugar plum, you head here. So it yeah. is possible for That's a genuine possible. man to get my um to get married to you or give you a marriage proposal even on the first day. A yes. genuine man. It's very, very, very possible. Very, very possible. I am a living witness. So it's not <laughs> like they say they say. I am a living witness. He yes. proposed within one month. And yes, he was serious. Everything went on smoothly and today we are together. So the question is genuine man. Genuine. genuine man. Yeah. <laughs> you have to bear in mind. Bear in mind that genuine man. Okay, so this one is from Ruth. I see you do. I have some I have someone in life. He loves me, but I don't I don't, but I don't. What should I do, please? She said she has someone in life, but she doesn't love him. What should she do? If you don't love him and there's no hope of loving him, sweet sister, leave him alone, okay? But before you leave him alone, make sure that he is absolutely not what you want. Be sure, set yourself, okay? But me, I always believe in giving men a chance. Like AJ said, you might meet him today, you don't like him, but after a short time, you are a woman. You might end up falling. You don't know. So don't be too quick. <laughs> that grows. Yes. <laughs> but if so, you've done all the things and the love is not coming, please let him go <laughs> to find the right person. Don't yes. waste the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from Dapa. I have problems with my ex and boyfriend. My ex is always disturbing, which is making not what choose where to choose where to go. What should I do? So is she with somebody else now, and the ex is disturbing yes. her, or what? Or she's saying no. So she's she's torn in between now. <laughs> He's your ex for a reason, Dapa. If you loved him enough, he wouldn't have been your ex. Always, always don't forget why you left him. It's very, very important. There's this funny meme that goes on on Facebook. They're like, sometimes your ex comes to check whether you are still, you know, your, <laughs> you know, whether your brain is still intact. Like, don't do it. If he's your ex and the reason why you guys broke up was very legitimate and you are very sure why you broke up with him, I don't see why your ex should have access to your new relationship to come and disturb you block him if he's being a nuisance if he's being sensible and not bothering you that's fine but if he's being a nuisance to your new relationship please block him <laughs> block 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 like block him everywhere okay to block. me what i will add is because i broke up with me for one year for really? almost two years or so yeah i broke up with him but when he came when he came back and we got married because i broke up with him i went to date someone else wow yes yeah wow. so when he came back and you got married so as you said that the reason the why reason you guys why broke up. up so check that one check wow. that the you and story there. is really interesting you know <laughs> wow. so did, did he actually come and snatch you from your boyfriend at the time or you left him before he came back Oh, I left him before he came back. Uh huh. See, yes. so that's I left good. Him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's a so question from Monica. Monica. Yes, I have been in a relationship with a guy for nine years, and he never discussed anything about settling down. But when I do, he keeps giving me excuses. He would then, he would then, he would then charge that change the topic. What should I do? Okay. So let me take that side again. He keeps giving me excuses and he will then change the topic. What should I do? Monica, nine years. Who <laughs> medical school and Kawada ne doctor? Don't do it. Nine years. Personally, I'm not an advocate of a relationship that has taken too long. No. We have some successful ones, don't get me wrong. But yeah, nine like years, my... if you ask me, <laughs> It's a very, very, very long time. What is it he's looking for in nine years that he hasn't seen yet? Just to put a ring on your finger, Monica. <laughs> if you are ready to be a wife, you need to be strong. Don't forget, life after marriage, you, you are going to be a mother. You are going to be responsible for somebody else's life. So if you are not strong emotionally, or if you are not... If you don't have standards as a woman, that is why I was talking about standards. 
if you don't have standards as a woman, people will just be tossing you about. You want to be married, Monica. And he, when anytime you talk about marriage, he's changing the topic. Why are you still with him? I know it's easier said than done, but to turn out some woman, like leave him. Because if you don't leave him to, the, the, uh, the way will not open for another man to come in. If you're still dating someone, how, if your hands are closed, how will God give you something? Your hands are supposed to be open. Then God can open the door for you to receive. But if the, this one is called Konongokaya, or no, I won't see it. Or no, so so I won't. Just say he will not allow anybody to, to carry, and he's just wasting your time. You know, AJ, we can allow about ten more minutes. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. If there's more uh, questions, yeah. So this one is from EPPA Worldwide again. Will you be happy to be with a guy who you love, but did not love you? Leave him alone, and if you don't. If you don't love him, okay. So he is just. I think she's answering the question okay. of the other lady. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is from Kendra. Please, what happens when you are? What well, What happened when you are? What When What happened when you are? No, wait. Let me read it to her. What happened hmm. when you start? Okay. So what happened when you start having interest in your ex again? It is. Is Is it normal? It's very normal, but it's not normal when you're with someone and you start feeling for your ex again. Hi, AJ, are you there? AJ. There is a breaking transmission. Hi, Jay. Okay, I can't really find AJ on, but yeah, Kendra, you were asking a question about um, what happens when you start having interest in your ex again? Is it normal? It's very normal, but you need to search yourself. Are you in a new relationship? If you are, you need to ask yourself serious questions and answers to that question you ask yourself would decide whether or not to... Um, go back to your ex or stick to the new relationship you're in personally i don't do exes because for me to break up with you i must have a very 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 good reason so if that reason is good enough for me to leave you i don't think i'm going back but like i said everyone's story is different it depends on the circumstances that you broke up with your ex with and it also depends on whether or not the relationship you're currently in is worth it you see yeah I can't find AJ. I don't know why. Um, but I think we need to start rounding up now. Hello, Sandy. Where did you go? Hi, Amy. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I hope you can see me as well. Yes, we can see you. Okay. So we have another question from Priscilla. I have a friend, she is in love, but the guy's mother is a Muslim. Her mother don't like Muslims. <laughs> she needs hmm. advice. Is she a Muslim herself? I don't think so. This issue of religion hmm, is very, very serious. We are all different and we all have our preferences. Personally, I don't think I would be okay to get married to someone in a different religion because I wouldn't want to end up confusing my children when they're growing up. That's my reason. But if you are someone who doesn't mind, why not? But if the mom is a problem, 
you need to sort it all out. I think most of you need to really watch my other video again. Because we answered this religion question. We did, right? We did, yeah. So as she said, you need to talk to your mom. Convince your mom. Because <laughs> you are going to wear the shoe. So convince exactly. your mom. <laughs> Yeah. Why you should get married to him? So I think if there's no other question, I think we'll, we'll just run up everything, then we we'll end. All right. So for those of you who haven't already, please go to my channel and subscribe. And if you're on Team Ages side and you're okay, from there's there's another question. There's another question from Baba. He loves and cares so much that he left his country and business just to be closer, closer to me in Ghana. But the problem is I need to wait to go to, <laughs> I need to wait and get my elder sister. I need to wait. I, th I think she has to wait till she gets her elder sister get married first before she can get married. Why? <laughs> I, I, I had that thought, and by the grace of God, my sister got married before me. But that shouldn't be a, a measuring yeah, thing. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. No. If your man has done this, and you decide to ignore him, and wait for your sister, and you end up not being married, don't blame anyone. Yes. You'd only have yourself to blame. Because the whole essence of this video, you already have it. And right now, you are the hindrance here, not the man. Yes. So don't lose you God. See? Don't lose God. In this case, Barbara, 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 don't lose God. <laughs> yeah, the power is in your hand. Yes. You hold the power. You hold your marriage in your hand. So what you decide is what's gonna happen. Don't queen you say still much aging. So this one is from Tiffany or Tiffany. I don't know, Tiffany. What is your opinion on having kids after the wedding? My family wants me to have children immediately after marriage. That's me and my fiance wants to wait a few years. Hey, how many years, Tiffany? Waiting too much too is not good though, because it depends on the, the, the birth control method you're going to use and all that. That's a whole topic on its own. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it is you and your husband who make the choices. Your family yeah. doesn't dictate to you what to do. With your number can be a you. If you get married and the pregnancy is not coming, can they force you? No. So do not allow the family to decide for you what they want. Okay. But always try to find out the reason. Maybe they have a good reason. Maybe you are having different thoughts, but when you ask them the reason why they want that, maybe the, re the reason is good, and that might make you want to change your mind. But if you've made up your mind with your fiancé and this is the plan, stick to it and don't allow family members to dictate to you what you should do. Okay, but if, you're, if the pregnancy comes, just go ahead and give it. Yeah. If, it, yeah, yeah. if you get married and it comes, just go ahead and give it. And never make an attempt to do an abortion because of church pressure. Please. Don't do it. <laughs> if you're pregnant and your church will not wed you because of it, ignore them. Have, have a garden wedding and carry on with your life. Please. Never in your life abort a pregnancy closer to your wedding just because of church pressure. Please. I'm saying this because I know people who have been through this and they are paying heavily just because of that choice they made. Okay? Okay. So this one is from Doreen. I have been chatting this guy. I have, I had a crush on for two weeks. For two weeks now, we've never met, but seems to have fallen in love with him. He always insists on talking to me, to my mom on a phone, on a video call. Is is he really into me or or not? Or not? If he wants to see you on video call. And always interested in seeing in talking to your mom, that's a good sign. Okay. But you need to really, really look deep. It could be good, it could be bad. Some men pretend. Oh, let me talk to your mom. He knows what he's after. The moment he gets your back on the ground, that's it. <laughs> so be careful. Just shine your eyes, okay? 
please refer to the other video for signs that he is into you. Mm -hmm. Then you can make your decision from there. Okay, Doreen. Yes. So, Doreen. We actually have two I'm videos. Echoing. Yeah, I can see you. I have okay. I have a video with AJ and I have a video that I did dedicating, especially speaking about whether you're sure, like how to know whether he's into you or not. So have a look at that video and then you can decide and know whether this your crush is for real or not. Okay. But shine your eyes. As a woman, Charlie. Open your eyes. Like, <laughs> your eyes. So guys, sorry for the noise. Eh? My camera went off and I have to put it on. Okay. So sorry. It's back now when everything is fine. Yeah, so everything is okay now. Yeah, okay. So Doreen, as you heard, <laughs> that doesn't mean that he, he is into you. So you just go and watch our previous video and you find out whether he's into you or not. So this one too is from Darren said, okay, okay. So she, she continued her question, fake. Whether it's into me or he's fake. Okay. You can't be too sure if he's fake, okay? Fake, yeah. Just shine but your you know, eyes. So, yes, yeah, shine your eye. Very, very necessary. <laughs> that's, that's a key word. Very, very necessary. So you have to shine your eye because on video call, she he allows you to see what he wants you to see. Exactly. Good point. So you have to shine your eye. Yeah. There are some people in Ghana and they'll even call you and lie to you that they are abroad and they'll be sitting in one corner in their room. Sitting in one corner, showing you corner. It's corner. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my sister, yeah, what? Is it necessary for your family to tell you who to marry? Hmm. I won't say family, but in my case, my mom had a big say. Not because of anything, but my mom because is we can tell you. I think you have to take the yeah, you have to take the answer again, your point again. You have to take it again. Okay. So she's asking if your family is necessary for your family to tell you who to marry. First of all, who to marry is your decision. But as a young lady, your mom or your older, I'll say your mom, because your mom will never recommend something bad for you. Everyone's family is different, but personally, my mom was somebody I always look up to when it comes to deciding whether somebody is serious or not. She has that eye. You know, everybody's family is different. So if your mom is that kind of person, you have to listen to her. If my mom tells me this guy is no good, it's true, he's no good. The moment my mom saw my hobby, she loved him so much until death took her away. She loved him with everything in her. So if if your family are in love with your partner, it makes your life so easy. If they don't like him, ask them why. Maybe they have legitimate reasons. Okay. So, okay. so, so, yeah. <laughs> so you need, you need to, to ask to your parents. Yeah, you need to yeah. ask them. Let them give you the tan like tangible reasons yeah. why they are saying that. Yes. So you need to ask them. So I think um Sandy, please, what is your last message we all? My last message is that in all things, don't forget to be prayerful. Whatever religion you belong to, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, whatever you believe in, always pray before you decide on a life partner because your life partner can make or unmake you. It is very, 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 very important. And you also have to be very discerning and pray to God to give you the spirit of discernment because some people can pretend and after they marry you, they'll make your life a living hell. So my closing remark is don't forget prayer. It's very, very important. And also open your eyes. Don't ignore the red flags because those red flags is what is going to end up dooming the marriage in the end. If you see the red flags, walk away and save yourself a life of misery. Thank you all guys for listening to me. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. Join Sunday Sunday family by following the link in the description and I'll be more than happy to meet you. If we've not answered your questions, please write mm -hmm. us in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you, okay? 
Okay, so Thank thanks you. so much, Sandy. Sandy. Thanks Thank so you much. For having right. me. As you head from head, don't forget, always pray. Prayer yes. is the key. Very, very important. Prayer is the key. So if don't forget to like this stream before you leave. And also don't forget to subscribe to Sandy Sandy. Her link is in the description oh. box. So, guys, thanks so much for being our guest and also listening to us this time. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. So, until next time. So, thank you so much, Sandy, for always right. having time with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks nice. for having me. Thank you. And have a very lovely evening, guys. Bye. Hold on. Okay. <laughs>